What's going on guys? So we went over the squat, the bench, and now we're gonna go over the deadlift. Uh, we'll set up with sumo first and kind of go over some of the technical things that you want to look at and then we'll go into conventional after that. But some of the main things, uh, takeaways, will kind of carry over into both lists. So what we're gonna focus on first is the setup for sumo. So Kaylee here is gonna get her normal setup for sumo. The things you want to focus on is when you're getting set up, making sure that as you're coming down, your knees are kind of tracking over your ankles. You don't want it to be where they're sitting back here. You don't want to have that kind of a shin angle. So she's going to push her knees out by squeezing her glutes and pulling her hips to the bar. You don't want your hips away from the bar and you don't want to squat down to the bar. You want to drive your hips as close as you can to the bar while grabbing it and pulling yourself nice and tall. So she's going to set up. From here, she's gonna activate her lats, pulling them down, thinking like you're trying to pinch off your armpit, flex her triceps, and then from there, she's gonna continue to pull her lats down into her lower back, squeeze her glutes, drive her hips through, and then she's gonna pull up, kind of wedging herself into the bar, driving her hips through, and using her back to wedge against it. So what we're doing is we're trying to create a wedge hip hinge motion here. We're not trying to lift straight up, we're trying to wedge yourself into the bar. So go ahead and get set again. Another thing that you'll notice is um, she's not gonna be looking down when she does the deadlift. A lot of people look down. With sumo especially, there's a lot of balance issues at the top. So if you're looking down, it's gonna cause you to bring a lot of the weight onto your toes and you'll lose some of your balance at the top. So you wanna keep the weight in the middle of your foot, big toe, pinky heel, grab it into the ground, squeezing your glutes to drive those knees out. Go ahead and get set. You're gonna pack your chin back, lats activated, drive into the ground by pushing out, spreading the floor, bring those hips through, and then lean back, keeping her head pushed back. So she's driving her chest back, not her head. She doesn't wanna arch her head super high. So then she's gonna get set up in conventional. So go ahead and get set up. So with conventional, you wanna think about where you're the most explosive and powerful. It's usually gonna be the same as where you would do a vertical jump. So it's gonna be about shoulder width apart. Pretty much everything else is gonna remain the same. She's gonna root into the ground, big toe, pinky heel. She's gonna engage her lats by pulling her armpits back, flexing her tricep, keeping that spine and head in a neutral position. But this time you're gonna leg press into the ground but also driving your hips through. Whereas in the sumo, you're spreading the ground and bringing your hips through. So you want to think leg press into the ground, driving, and then push your hips to meet the bar. Don't overextend back here, because then your knees are going to have a soft lockout and you're going to be loading your lower back. So what you want to think about is driving your hips, squeezing your glutes, and pull your hips into the bar. So go ahead and do it one more time. Grab it into the ground, big toe, peaky heel, leg press in, lats tight, and then she's trying to push her hips to meet the bar as fast as she can, keeping her traps down and her arms as long as possible. So you wanna think like you're trying to shrug down into the bar and you're not pulling your shoulder blades back to get your lat side up either. You don't wanna pull here, you just wanna pull down and into the bar. So that way, if you pull your shoulder blades back, as soon as you go to pull, they're gonna come forward because there's no way, think about like if you can barbell row 300 pounds, that's your max barbell row, well that would be your limit on your deadlift for you keeping your shoulder blades pinned back. So you want them pushed down and into your, like your back pocket is what you're shooting for. So those are the main tips for both sumo and conventional. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions, just comment below and we'll answer them the best we can.